In a world obsessed with youth and celebrity, imagine pitching an idea for a film based on a true story about an old man living in New Zealand who rides an even older motorbike to set a land speed record. Well, the film was made, and to everyone's surprise, went on to break a record of its own. The world's fastest Indian, referring to the motorbike model, has become New Zealand's highest ever grossing locally produced film, beating other local films such as Once Were Warriors and Whale Rider. Veteran Australian director Roger Donaldson met Bert Munro, the man in question, over 30 years ago and has long cherished the idea of telling his story. He was just, just this amazingly memorable character that I could never forget. And uh, when I started making feature films, I just thought that this character would be, you know, a, a great character to base a movie on. Described as a one-off, Bert Munro was turning 68 with a heart condition when in 1967 he hurtled across Utah Salt Flats in America at a record-breaking 295 kilometers an hour. And he did it on a 50-year-old Indian Scout motorbike, souped up and held together by his own mechanical ingenuity. Mile 8, 201.85 miles. <laughs> miles per hour. But as Roger Donaldson puts it, the movie is not just the story of an old man and an old motorbike, it has a more universal theme. You know how fast you were going back there? Yeah, about uh, 150, 160 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. My movie, though, is really, you know, not about motorbikes in my own mind. It's about passion, it's about uh, having a dream. Uh, a character who the glass is always half full, not half empty. And that's what was attracted. That's why I was attracted to this character. And that's really the sort of part of his story that I was keen to tell. Being a film about a local hero and made by Kiwis, the world premiere was held in Infocargill, Bert Munro's home, a little known city at the southernmost end of the South Island. Well, I think it'll uplift the people of the city. It'll make them to believe that we can be innovative, we can do anything, we can challenge the world, we can add to the delights of the world. With tourists already coming to see the New Zealand locations of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, the Southland Tourist Office has added a promotional segment to the fastest Indian DVD, hoping to put Infocargo on the tourist trail. It's a film that upholds the image New Zealanders have of themselves, a tiny country at the bottom of the world that punches above its weight. Is, is this a hinge off a fence pose? No, that's uh, from an old kitchen door. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just ask you, what, what is this? It's a cork. What does it look like? It's a cork from a brandy bottle. For a population of four million people, they've done a lot around the world. And, uh... You know, I was born in Australia, but I went there to live in the uh, 60s, and I was attracted to, the, to that uh, can-do spirit. It was a place that uh, I found, what I found there was, you know, anything was possible. New Zealand uh, thinks of themselves as, uh, as, as people who can and do do, very, do a lot with little. And uh, the sort of number eight wire mentality is what uh, it's called in New Zealand, where uh, you can, you make do with little, and try and do a lot. In a world where computers and conformity rule, Bert Monroe's dream and most importantly his individuality appears to have struck a chord. Yeah. Aren't you scared you'll kill yourself if you crash? No. No, you, uh, you live more in five minutes on a bike like this going flat out than some people live in a lifetime. I've I've made a number of movies, and I've never made a film that's had such an amazing reaction from the audience. I, I, every day I get letters, emails, people track me down, people phone me to tell me just how much this movie has meant to them. I'll tell you something, son. If you don't follow through on your dreams, you might as well be a vegetable. What type of vegetable? <laughs> I don't know. A cabbage. Yeah, a cabbage. I did it. I did it. <laughs>